All right, let's dive into what is a concept map with uh, Dr. Sands. So let's take a look at First off, what is a concept map? Um, so by definition, a concept map is a visual representation of knowledge about a particular topic. It is a tool that helps uh, in organizing and structuring information, often in the form of a network of interconnected concepts. And within that, here are the key points that you need to know to bring into a concept map. And concept maps will vary from shapes and sizes a little bit and what you bring into it. But just from conceptually, the things you need to think about when you're building a concept map is what I'll go through here. So just some, you know, some kind of uh, key terms when it comes to concept mapping. Uh, the first one is nodes. Uh, each concept or idea is typically represented as a node, uh, often a box. Uh, or circle and you know again your concept map can look a little different in shapes like you see on my title slide right here um, this is a concept map done with sticky notes and, and things right and that's okay um, yeah left to right sticky notes so as we continue on uh, links nodes are connected by links lines or arrows that represent relationships or connection between the concepts uh, linking phrases. The links often have labels or phrases that describes the nature of the relationship between the nodes uh, they connect. Uh, hierarchical structure. Concept maps often have a top-down structure with the most general concept at the top and more specific details or subconcepts uh, and branching out below. Like you go here, as you can see here, the, the main topic and then the, uh, the concept here and then branches off like that and then um, <clears throat> cross links uh, these are links that connect nodes across different connections or domains of the concept map indicating relationships between different areas of knowledge so you could link from uh, like I said links here and then you could link between these as well and then focus questions many concept maps start with a central question or main idea from which all concept maps branch out. All right, and that's uh, right here. You focus where your everything branches out from. So concept maps are used in various fields, including education, business, uh, or research to facilitate learning, brainstorming, planning, or visualizing complex ideas and systems. Uh, they differ from, now they differ from what a mind map is as they focus on the relationship between the concepts and can be more network like. So these are more network look and feel versus a mind map is like a tree and a bunch of uh, pictures and things like that. So they are two different uh, animals. So what does an example mind map look like? So I'm gonna stick with the theme like I did on the you know creating the the basic mind map here just from like a definition perspective uh, what that looks like and then as we put it into practice with an example example mind map now I'm going to use uh, renewable energy as the central theme the central thing we want to create a concept map for um, and then so when we think about renew re the renewable energy sector uh, it's diverse, encompassing various sources of clean and sustainable energy, right? So it's a good one to do an example on, but you can do it on anything. Uh, obviously, healthcare, uh, auto industry, you name it. So when we think about uh, renewable energy, where do we start? All right, well, solar energy, that's, you know, solar is obviously the, the big thing these days. So, so solar energy, then a brief you know definition and what you have on each one of these is this is energy harnessing from the sun there are two primary methods so first define what solar energy is and then what are the methods what are the the primary methods to how do you harness solar energy all right so 
Um, the first one is, uh, and I probably, I know I'll butcher this, photo, photo, black cells uh, convert sunlight directly into energy. And then of course, uh, the, the, when we think about it, the other one is uh, solar thermal system, use the sun's heat to produce steam, which can which then drives the, a turbine to generate electricity. So a couple of different things there, right? So instead of me reading down the list here, um, in which it's always good to create a list first, or you can just jump in and start concept mapping. But I think that, you know, do, do your research to uh, understand what are all the, the variables you wanna map out that's behind your central theme. So, all right, so solar energy, we talked about those two. You know, wind energy, you know, offshore, uh, excuse me, onshore wind farms, like a lot of times you see out near the Palm Springs area or offshore wind farms as you're starting to see more of those out in the ocean um, to, uh, to do that. Then hydroelectric energy, of course those are dams and then run of the river where just the river's flowing and they got some stuff in there and they're creating energy. And I won't go down each one, but geothermal energy and then these down here, the benefits and then challenges, they have three uh, three rungs off it and then you know when it talks about um, back over here you know linking then you know you could also link you know a couple of these together if you wanted to maybe link the benefits and challenges all right so if we think about creating a mind map it's excuse me a concept map uh, it's pretty simple again you can use a tool that you know, best works for you. Uh, of course, using uh, Miro here. This one to <clears throat> different shape, just a little bit like that. Okay, so then we think about the one here is a that I already created. Just want to take a minute to show you really actually how easy it is to create. So we'll say renewable energy. works okay so we're going to say solar energy and we got smaller duplicate that <clears throat> and the text is pretty big here obviously so it's easy to see but you want to scale it for uh, your project size so there's that one that very challenging word there to pronunciate and we're going to duplicate that
solar thermal system. All right, that's uh, that's that first tree there, or the first rung. So I'll just link them. Like that. Like that, and then uh, you know, so on and so forth. Um, move it over here if you wanted something like that, similar to having this other one. And um, of course, then you know, if you wanted to change the color, you can do that. Uh, but uh, like I did on the first one over there, and so on and so forth. So then, it's just go ahead and create uh, create the other ones. I just want to show you one other thing here is why I'm um, putting these together real time. Computer's acting all laggy right now. Okay, then we can always just move this one back over here. That. So, you know, you can start to, to build it out that way, like I did on this example one. Um, now, if you're going to put it in the middle, um, you probably want to change the shape. It's like a circle. that uh, just kind of move it around from in the middle maybe move this down here move it off like this um, and then you could build you know around it put your others over here so anyway so that's uh, how that is uh, what a concept map is um, by definition what a concept map is uh, a completed example of what a concept map is based on renewable energy and just, you know, take it a minute to, to map it out. Uh, I'm using Miro. I have no affiliation with Miro. It's a really uh, cool board to be able to do this. There's other software, um, PowerPoint, um, Word, uh, Microsoft Word, Google Docs, you name it. So, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.